Okay, it's time for us to hear the word of God from the speaker, Raja Pansamad, who lives in uh, India. Okay, just unmute your mic, Raja Pansamad. Okay, yeah, time is yours now. Yeah, thank you so much. And God is uh, so wonderful and so in each and every day. Ya, yeah, Tuhan itu luar biasa dalam setiap hari dalam kehidupan kita. Yeah. I got a topic your problem is like a God's help for spiritual improvement. Ya, yeah, masalah kita yang dihadapi itu baik tangan Tuhan untuk kita melihat bagaimana pertolongan Tuhan, ya. Yeah. Okay. Before start uh, we commit this time to Lord Ya, sebelumnya kita sama-sama sudah menghadap Tuhan pada saat pagi hari ini. Let's pray and uh, commit this time into Lord. I will pray and then, uh, yeah, you can, later we will come. Okay. Heavenly, Father, yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord, and also I'm committing myself to you in your hand, Lord. Yes, Jesus. All my soul and mind and my body to in your control. You have to be uh, take over all my uh, spirit and mind and body in your control, Lord. You take over all things, Lord, and humble myself to in your hand, Lord. Yes, Jesus, you speak with us and we want to obey in your word, Lord. Yes, Jesus. You're going to do great things in midst of us in the power of love ministry. Yes, Jesus, to all the glory and honor, only you, Lord, and we want to give you, Lord. Yes, Jesus, thank you for uh, you giving uh, this opportunity through Pastor Supati. And yes, Jesus, God, you're going to do a great things in this ministry, Lord. Yes, Jesus, I'm committing this time to in your hand, Lord. I'm, I'm committing myself to in your hand. I'm asking in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oke, okay, terima kasih Tuhan. Pada saat ini saja kami menyerahkan roh, jauh, dan tubuh kami dalam tanganmu. Biar bicara kepada kami dan juga Tuhan Pesulbakti akan menerjemahkan juga di mana kami siapkan hati kami untuk mengatakan firmanmu berbicara Tuhan kepada kami. Dalam nama Yesus Kristus kami berdoa. Amin. Amen. Yeah, uh, I'm going to read a word from uh, Zephaniah 3.17. Uh, it says, The Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quite, he will quite you in his love. He will, he will rejoice over you with the singing. So, The Lord your God in your mess, the mighty one will save you. Ya, Jepanya pasal 3 ayat 17 di mana kalau Tuhan ada di tengah-tengah kehidupan saudara, saudara akan mengalami ada satu sukacita yang Tuhan berikan kepada kita masing-masing. Ya, the topic is a, really it's a great topic. The problem bring near to lord we are making a spiritual improvement the problem and the uh, struggles it will uh, it will make us to go closer to god ya yeah. uh, topik ini sangat menarik sekali di mana masalah kita membimbing kita untuk bisa lebih dekat dengan tuhan because uh, the because we know Our God only, the Savior, the God only, you do a Redeemer for all our problems. We know, uh, we, each and every one of us, we know that. Ya, kita tahu bahwa uh, Tuhan tersembah, Tuhan yang penebus, ya, Tuhan yang menyamakan kita, dan kita sudah tahu itu. So, that problem always, it will bring the closer to God, it will... It will make uh, our spiritual life to 
to grow in near to Lord. Ya, kalau masalah yang kita hadapi dan kita memahami bahwa itu membuat kita lebih dekat dengan Tuhan, ini ada peningkatan kita secara rohani. Ya, yeah, we turn to the Matthew 8, Matthew 8, 18. We are going to see this is in Jesus, in life of Jesus. Matthew 8 or 18? 8, chapter 18th words. Okay, Matthew 8, 18, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll. Now, when Jesus saw the great multitudes about to him, he gave a commandment to default to the other side. So, yeah, okay. Jesus, yeah, yeah, we can go forward. Jesus see the great multitude and commanded to the disciples, depart to other side. Don't stay in this place. There is a so multitude and so multitude of the crowd and the people is there. So Jesus commanded to the disciples, we have to depart to the other side. We have to go other side from, yeah. Ya, ketika Tuhan Yesus melihat uh, sejumlah orang banyak itu dan dia berkata kepada murid-muridnya, mari kita uh, pergi ke tempat yang lain, ya, memisahkan diri dari orang banyak ini. The word 23 is start like that. Now when he got into the boat, his disciples also followed him and suddenly the great temple arose on the sea so that the boat was covered with the waves but he was asleep. Ya, sebagaimana uh, bermurid dan Yesus misalkan diri dan mereka naik kapal dan ada satu pengalaman yaitu bagaimana mengalami angin topan yang mereka sedang hadapi pada saat itu. So the disciples and Jesus they went into the boat immediately the tempest means the great wind came and that immediately Jesus is sleeping in the boat so then the problem when problem come to the our life or whenever problem come to a, in each and every one of us life Immediately, we what we do, the disciples, what they did, then disciples came to him and awake him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. Ya, sebagaimana Yesus beritnya ada dalam boat, dalam kapal maksudnya, dan adanya Yesus tidur dalam kapal itu. Nah, sama hal juga kita juga mungkin bisa punya pengalaman, ya, seperti itu dan apa yang kita lakukan tapi di sini kita lihat murid-muridnya hmm, membangunkan Yesus karena angin sakal itu. Ya, yeah. uh, whenever the problem come we feel uh, very lonely and we feel uh, we could not able to overcome the situation and immediately we near to God and we are uh, close to God when we are asking help from God because We need really the God's support and God guidance in that critical situation. Ya, yeah, sama halnya juga kalau kita mengalami masalah dan kita juga tidak sanggup menghadapi masalah itu dan akhirnya kita datang kepada Tuhan dan kita minta kepada Tuhan supaya Tuhan juga menolong kita untuk menyelesaikan dalam masalah-masalah yang sulit itu. Immediately Jesus he said to them why why are you fearful oh you who of little faith then he arose and rebuked the wind and the sea and there was a great calm ya sebagaimana uh, ketika Yesus bangun dan dia berkata kepada murid-muridnya kenapa kamu Anda tidak percaya ya tapi Yesus sendiri Uh, memerintah kepada angin sakal itu berhenti dan berhenti angin itu sendiri. 
he will uh, always god can do a uh, miracles over the natural nature because god rebuke the wind and the sea immediately there is a calm there is a peace came upon that sea ya sebenarnya yesus sendiri bisa mengerjakan sesuatu di luar daripada nalar manusia suatu hal-hal yang luar biasa dan ketika Yesus memerintahkan untuk tenang maka suatu terjadi yaitu tenanglah dan angin itu pun berhenti uh, then immediately they amazed because who he is they think a normal man but he is really is a god he proving himself ya berburunya heran siapa gerangan orang ini kok bisa angin sakal pun tunduk kepadanya ya yeah, same situation we can read in mark 8 uh, 8 22 to 25 uh, mark mark 4 chapter 22 yeah i will read for you on the same day when every evening had come he said to them Let us cross over the other side. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along to the boat as he was. Another little boat were also with him, and great windstorm arose and waves beat into boat. So here is a little bit uh, different than that uh, situation. The great uh, winds. A wind storm arose. The waves are beat into the boat. So, so many things are beating, and also the water came into the water into the boat. So, it's about to sink into the water. Ya, sebagaimana dalam Matius dan Markus tadi ada sedikit perbedaan, tapi dalam Markus katakan tadi, di mana ketika angin sakal itu bahkan ombak pun yang begitu kencang bahkan uh, nyaris tenggelam itu kapal itu nah tapi uh, kondisi keadaan seperti yang hadapi tapi Yesus sendiri menghardiknya sehingga angin itu pun reda ya yeah, 38 verse says he was in the stream asleep on a pillow so nah. Jesus is sleeping Uh, with pillow in the stream means like uh, that back side of the uh, boat ya sebagaimana Yesus sendiri waktu angin sekali itu dan ditemukan dia sedang tidur di buritan nah buritan artinya bagian belakang daripada kapal sendiri and they are asking teacher do you not care that we are perishing so uh, guru, they are asking Ya, guru apakah kau enggak enggak peduli bahwa kita ini akan binasa? Ya, yeah, whenever we having a problem, we can also ask same question to the Lord. Don't have a you don't have any care about us. You don't have any concern about us because we are uh, in a critical situation. We are perishing. We are uh, uh, we have uh, so many problems. So you have to care about us and we'll will also do the same questions to the lord mungkin juga kita bisa mengadukan hal yang sama ketika kita ada masalah tuhan apakah engkau tidak peduli dengan kehidupan saya masalah yang seperti yang sedang saya hadapi ini ini bisa juga pertanyaan seperti itu kita tanyakan kepada tuhan immediately jesus rise from the uh, sleep and he rebuked and He said, "The wind and the sea is peace. Be still." God said, "Peace, be still." And the wind and ceased, and there was a great calm happened. Ya, ketika Yesus bangun dari tidurnya, dia merhardik angin itu dan ombak itu juga sekaligus dan uh, akhirnya jadilah tenang. dalam situasi apa yang mereka sedang hadapi and god and they uh, god or jesus in uh, jesus they want the disciples 
Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Because uh, they are uh, so much fearful. Also, there is a <coughs> there is no <coughs> faith in their uh, heart, and they have a uh, so much fear will perish, and we cannot overcome the situation. They think like that, but God telling you can do it. The great things. You have to be in faith. Ya, samanya Tuhan mengajar murid-muridnya supaya murid-muridnya itu punya iman. Karena apa yang terjadi saat itu yaitu ketakutan yang begitu besar. Uh, mereka tidak punya iman sama sekali. Tapi dalam peristiwa ini Yesus mengajarkan murid-muridnya tentang iman. Karena Yesus inginkan juga murid-muridnya punya pengalaman. Bagaimana menerapkan iman itu di dalam hidup mereka? Okay, the same situation, same in uh, uh, Luke eight twenty three also, but they still still sleep. Okay, we can. They are telling, <clears throat> Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked, and when the ragging of the water and they. Ya, sebenarnya dalam Lukas juga uh, cerita yang sama juga terjadi uh, sebagaimana uh, mereka berteriak dan minta supaya kondisi situasi itu bisa tenang dan terjadilah tenang. Oke, okay. the problem how it's getting calm because God is control over all. Ya, sebenarnya Tuhan itu yaitu uh, mengetahui seluruhnya apa yang kita hadapi. Tapi Tuhan mau kita belajar dari kondisi itu. Job 38, verse 8 to 11, it says. <coughs> ya, Ayub pasal 28, aku mengatakan. Job 38, 8 to 11, it says. Because uh, the wind and the storms and the... Water of the sea, it will control because he is the control over all. Or who shed in the sea with those? <coughs> ya, sebagaimana dalam ayub pasal 28 ayat 11 katakan bagaimana Tuhan, Tuhan menguasai seluruhnya. Ya. Uh, when it's burst forth and issued from the womb, when I made the clouds, it's gatherment. Government and thick darkness is falling ban. When I fix my li limit for it, and I set bars and doors. Wait, wait, not, uh, uh, I, I, I can open my Bible first. Yeah, uh, Job uh, verse 28. Yeah, okay, wait, wait, 38. Job 38. Oh. Okay, Ayub. Pasal 38 ya. Bentar dulu. Ayo pasal 38. Bentar. 38, 8 to 8. Oke, okay, wait a minute. Ayo pasal. Ayat 11 ya. Oke. Okay. Ayo pasal 38, ayat 11. Ketika aku berfirman sampai di sini, bolehlah engkau datang. Jangan lewat di sini. Gelombang-gelombangmu yang congkak akan dihentikan. Okay. Yes. So God is the God is only the sea. He is controlled by Him only. Ya, dari Tuhan itu uh, menguasai seluruhnya dan dan semua dalam uh, kontrol Tuhan. Ya. Yeah. Uh, God, He made He fixed uh, my limit for it and and set bars and doors because the The waves should not come over, uh, over to the land. He set the border for that. He yeah. made the doors for that. Tuhan mengontrol keduanya, baik seperti tadi gelombang, bahkan angin sakal tadi. Tapi uh, Tuhan menguasai kedua hal ini. Uh, God said, "This for you may come, but no further." <coughs> Ya, mungkin itu terjadi, ya. Tapi, 
displaced. Ya, di mana gelombang itu akan berhenti pada saat ini. Because God has made like that, then only uh, so through that we can understand uh, God He is in control over the sea and over the wind. Ya, kita di sini kita belajar bagaimana Tuhan itu menguasai gelombang dan angin tadi dan kita pahami itu dan kita belajar dari situasi itu. Whenever problem from from nature or whenever problem of the world and whenever problem from the some other uh, <coughs> comments where that time we are always we are near to God always we are going to the God's presence we are listen to the Lord and we will pray to the Lord it's make us to uh, holy and it's make us to devotionally uh, to the near to the Lord ya masalah-masalah yang kita hadapi dan kita datang kepada Tuhan membuat kita juga semakin dikuduskan dan kita semakin melekat dengan Tuhan menghadapi dalam masalah itu Psalm 46 start like that God is a refuge and stand a very present help in trouble Ya dalam Mazmur Psalm 46 is it 46:1 ya Oke what verse Words one. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Hmm. Uh, di Alkitab kita ayat dua. Dia tadi bilang ayat satu, tapi ayat dua di sini. Allah itu bagi kita tempat perlindungan dan kekuatan sebagai penolong dalam kesesakan sangat terbukti. Ya, yeah, we are uh, our refuge is the God. So whenever the situation is going wrong and we Always we are going to the Lord because our faith, our uh, our faith always with in God only. Ya, kita harus sadar bahwa perlindungan kita dan kekuatan kita hanya dalam Tuhan. Makanya dalam setiap situasi yang kita hadapi, maka kita tingkatkan iman kita. Karena iman kita dalam Tuhanlah memberikan jalan keluar. The Psalms, uh, he is telling our refuge. God is our refuge and strength. Ya, dalam Masmur kata tadi Allah itu bagi kita tempat perlindungan dan kekuatan sebagai penolong when, dalam kesakan sangat terbukti. Our help, uh, whenever we need a help uh, in the trouble time, we always go to the Lord. He is our refuge and He is our strength. Apapun yang kita sedang hadapi, jadikanlah Allah itu tempat perlindungan dan kekuatan kita dan Tuhan yang mengerjakan uh, pertolongan itu. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth be removed and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, though the water roar and trample. So the, he is telling the all the problem if it is the Uh, that's why we I will not be fear. That's why I will not. Uh, the earth will removed by the uh, removed and fall into the sea. Also, I never care about because God is our refuge and God is my strength. Ya, sebagaimana uh, tadi katakan Allah itu bagi kita tempat perlindungan dan kekuatan penolong kesakan sangat terbukti. Sama halnya juga Yesus pernah berkata. Ketika engkau berkata kepada gunung ini, engkau tidak bimbang, tetapi engkau melakukan dengan iman, dan tercampaklah gunung itu ke dalam laut, dan itu akan terjadi. Gunung itu berbicara tentang persoalan-persoalan hidup kita. We can read the word 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So, We have to be a uh, be still and be calm in the God's presence when the trouble come and God will be exalted through us. He is the God. He will reveal He is the God and Lord for us. Ya, Tuhan perintahkan hanya kepada kita jalan tenang. 
Ha, ketika kita menerapkan nilai jas tenang itu, maka Tuhan itu akan terlihat pertolongannya dalam situasi yang kita sedang hadapi. Because uh, the, the word says, I will be exalted among the nation. <laughs> ya, uh, mana saya akan ditinggikan uh, di antara bangsa-bangsa. I will exalt in the earth. Uh, ditinggikan juga di di atas muka bumi ini. Because he is going to do a, he will always he is ready to do a great things through in in our life in in whenever we have a problem whenever we have a uh, solution we are asking to the Lord and we go to the God's presence. It's make us a devotional in our life. It's make us to more closer to the Lord. It's make us to we have to be a holy and we live in your that peaceful life in the God's presence. Apapun masalah yang kita sedang hadapi, ya, tapi Tuhan mau nyatakan bagaimana pertolongannya uh, dinyatakan melalui kita. Hanya melalui kita bagaimana nyata pertolongan Tuhan yang luar biasa itu dan itu akan terjadi ya ketika kita percaya kepadanya. I will not tell the problem it will always come from God. Saya tidak berkata semua masalah itu datang dari Tuhan. <coughs> we will forget the situation, we will forget the everything and we have to walking in this world uh, Sometimes it will come immediately uh, by uh, by accidentally it will come the problem. Ya, kadang-kadang apa yang tersadapi dengan tiba-tiba kita ada masalah, tapi uh, bukan berarti Tuhan uh, uh, meninggalkan kita dalam situasi itu, tapi yeah. Dia menyatakan bagaimana terbukti bahwa Dia bersama dengan kita. Really, I, I had a yesterday I had a big issue in our our factory <coughs> ya kemarin di mana saya ada masalah di perusahaan di mana saya bekerja uh, immediately i came to the god's presence and i asked god god please help us to overcome the situation because god can only do our miracles and he can only do the uh, yeah he can only do the miracles dalam masalah yang saya hadapi kemarin saya datang kepada Tuhan dan know, saya percaya uh, saya percaya itu Tuhan God bisa menyelesaikan masalah itu sendiri dan kita yeah, kami our, tahu bahwa Tuhan itu adalah penolong our God is the refuge and strength and He is the fortress for us ya yeah, Allah kita itu penolong pelindung <coughs> dan tempat pertuduhan bagi kita Okay, we'll let's pray and we'll uh, conclude the word within God's presence. Ya, yeah, uh, mari kita berdoa mm-hmm. di mana saya selesaikan uh, permintaan Tuhan pada saat pagi hari ini. Eh, pagi ini ya. Yeah. Because uh, he is, he can only do the miracles in our trouble time. In the trouble, it is making to in the <coughs> closer to the Lord. Ya, yeah, Tuhan mampu memberikan jijat kepada kita dalam setiap masalah yang kita hadapi dan kita datang kepada Tuhan dan Tuhan menyatakan pertolongannya. Okay. Let's pray. Our heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord, and thank you for you are you are our refuge and fortress and you are our redeemer, Lord. Ya, terima kasih Tuhan, di mana Engkau adalah tempat perlindungan kami. Tempat benteng kehidupan kami, bagi penebus bagi kami Tuhan. Yeah, we know our salvation coming through you only, Lord. Kami tahu bahwa keselamatan itu hanya bersumber daripadaMu Tuhan. Yeah, you. We always come in trouble time in your presence. It's making us to more, more and more closer to you, Lord. Ya, setiap masalah yang kami hadapi membawa kami untuk lebih dekat dan lebih dekat lagi hubungan kami dengan Tuhan. Situation and issues it will come and go, but that bringing us and that bringing to you in your presence, Lord. Ya, masalah problem yang kami hadapi tapi membawa kami untuk lebih dekat ke dalam hadirat Tuhan. 
yeah whenever the trouble and whenever the critical situation come we always come to you in your present it yeah. make us it, it make us to closer to you lord apapun masalah yang kami hadapi hal-hal yang sulit apapun tapi itu membawa kami untuk lebih dekat kepada Tuhan thank you lord you are our redeemer you are our savior you are do a great miracles in my life lord Ya, di mana engkau adalah penebus kami, engkau adalah keselamatan kami dalam seluruh kehidupan kami. Thank you for the wonderful work in Power of Love Ministry and in midst of our group, Lord. Ya, terima kasih di mana Tuhan bekerja dalam uh, komunitas The Power of Love dan juga di antara kami semua. I'm asking in Jesus' name, I pray. Saya berdoa dalam nama Kristus. Amin.